Okay, now uh, we will go to the rest of the program. Um, introduction to the project by Mr. Nader Sabigi. Uh, just a brief uh, biography of Mr. Sabigi, actually, uh, just to tell you, you know, uh, uh, about Mr. Sabigi. Mr. Sabigi uh, is a prominent writer, producer, political commentator and broadcast journalist, former radio and television host, with one of the uh, most recognized voices and one of the most recognized voices in Iranian media with years of experience. Mr. Sadiri is hosted uh, and, uh, highly and highly rated daily primetime talk show for years at KRSI, uh, which was a radio station in Los Angeles, California, and which offered a mix of news commentary and guest interviews. He was also the chairman of the Los Angeles Iranian American Sheriff's Advisory Council for about four years. And uh, uh, I would appreciate people turn their microphones off. I, I think some microphones might be on. Please, I would appreciate. Thank you. Um, and. Uh, he was also, Mr. Sadiri was more uh, recently was the, uh, represented the Persian service of Radio Free Europe, uh, Radio Liberty in Washington, D.C. from 2008 to 2018, where he secured interviews with many key newsmakers and political figures and covered the UNPA for five years. So uh, Mr. Sadiri has been helping us on the uh, many aspects of this project, I should say, in, in terms of the commentary that he makes and uh, everything. There is, there is a, I mean, the, if I want to continue with Mr. Sadiri's uh, biography, it will take some time. So I will stop <laughs> here and I would appreciate if Mr. Sadiri can start uh, giving you the introduction to the project. Please. Thank you very much, Dr. Bagoy Yazdi. I will talk very briefly to give more time to our scientist friends and later to other friends who may have questions about a concept we are about to present. Ladies and gentlemen, no doubt you are aware of the current water shortage and other problems in Iran. According to Iranian scientists and UN experts, the biggest and most important issue facing Iran is the lack of water in the Iranian plateau. And this water shortage is a major catastrophe. The drying of rivers, groundwaters, lakes, wetlands is growing with unimaginable speed. According to Iranian and international studies, including the World Resources Institute, which monitors the ecosystem on our planet, Iran is one of the four countries in the Middle East listed as the most at risk for water scarcity. Remember, Iran's population is about 85 million today and growing rapidly. Beside the water problems, there is a food shortage as well. The dimensions of these crises in Iran, although overshadowed by other crises in recent decades, especially political crises, have always been a priority for Iranian scientists. As a journalist who is interested in the recent changes in the climate of this beautiful planet, I have tried to draw public attention to this dangerous problem in Iran by writing articles. Today, my scientist friends are going to present the concept of a mega national project, which in the long run will benefit the country, its people, its neighbors, in the region and generations to come. Thank you very much. Mr. Sadiri, would you be kind enough to wrap up and then we have 
time to answer some of the questions, please. Of course, uh, ladies and gentlemen, first of all, thank you for your patience. And personally, I thank uh, Ambassador Avivi for sharing his valuable research and findings on water issues in Israel. And also thanks to my good friends for their very interesting presentation. To describe the water crisis in Iran and its potential dangers, one can describe it as the biggest historical problem or a catastrophe of biblical proportions and so on. But in practice, ladies and gentlemen, none of these descriptions reflect the national bankruptcy in country like Iran. Of course, as we know, a vast part of Iran is a dry land like Israel and some other countries in the region. But Iran throughout its history of several thousand years, it has intelligently overcome this natural dilemma. And once again, I have no doubt it will emerge victorious from this huge challenge. The most important and valuable element in this historical challenge is the sincere participation of Iranian experts in all fields related to this mega project. This super project belongs to all Iranians and to its our sincere hope that they will contribute to the completion and advancement of this concept as a national development. We also hope that regional friends, regional friends of Iran and in other parts of the world will contribute to the advancement of this project and any similar projects. These projects will bring the nations together and enhance peace and tranquility in future. I have no doubt. Thank you once again.